just a few hundred meters in space, almost changed everything. A recently launched satellite from China passed extremely close to an operational Starlink satellite, forcing attention onto a growing problem that rarely makes headlines. This wasn't a malfunction or a failure, but a moment that revealed how crowded Earth's orbit has become and how fragile coordination between satellite operators still is. What happened here matters far beyond two spacecraft. The incident began with a routine launch. On December 9th, a Kinetica, one rocket operated by CAS Space lifted off from China's Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. The mission deployed nine satellites into low Earth orbit, serving a mix of purposes that included Earth observation, scientific research, and educational use for several countries. Nothing about the launch initially stood out. It was one of many orbital insertions happening each month. Shortly after deployment, however, SpaceX identified a close approach between one of the newly released satellites and an active Starlink spacecraft, designated Starlink 6079. According to SpaceX, the distance between the two objects narrowed to approximately 200 meters at an altitude of about 560 kilometers. In orbital terms, that separation is exceptionally small. Satellites travel at several kilometers per second, meaning even tiny miscalculations can have serious consequences. SpaceX made the situation public through a statement from Michael Nichols, vice president of Starlink Engineering. He explained that, to the company's knowledge, there had been no direct coordination or deconfliction between the operators involved prior to the close approach. The concern was not just the distance itself, but the apparent absence of shared trajectory planning that could have reduced risk earlier. CAS Space responded soon after, stating that it had followed mandatory procedures using ground-based space awareness systems to select its launch window. The company emphasized that its role as the launch services provider included checking for known satellites and debris before launch. At the same time, CAS Space acknowledged the seriousness of the report and confirmed it was reviewing the details. What remains unclear is which of the nine deployed satellites passed close to Starlink. 6079, or whether any last-minute orbital adjustments were made. SpaceX did not specify whether the Starlink satellite performed an avoidance maneuver, and CAS Space has not released technical data beyond its initial statement. What is clear is that this was not a collision, and no damage occurred. Yet the incident exposed a gap between standard launch safety procedures and the realities of operating in a crowded orbital environment where satellites from many nations share the same altitude bands. Someone unfamiliar with orbital distances, 200 meters might not sound especially close. In everyday terms, it's the length of two football fields. In low Earth orbit, however, that distance represents a narrow margin where prediction uncertainty becomes dangerous. Satellites move so fast that even small tracking errors can erase that gap in seconds. Modern satellites rely on predicted paths based on tracking data from radar, telescopes, and onboard navigation systems. These predictions are not perfectly precise. Atmospheric drag, solar activity, and slight differences in satellite orientation can all affect motion. That is why coordination between operators has become just as important as technology itself. SpaceX operates nearly 9,300 Starlink satellites, giving the company unmatched experience in managing close approaches. Starlink spacecraft can autonomously adjust their orbits when conjunctions are predicted. During the first half of 2025 alone, Starlink satellites executed about 145,000 avoidance maneuvers. That frequency highlights how common close encounters have become. The problem is that not all satellites are equally capable. Many spacecraft lack autonomous maneuvering systems or rely on ground commands that take time to execute. When operators do not share real-time trajectory data, satellites may not see each other early enough to plan safe adjustments. Ground-based space awareness systems, while valuable, have limitations. They can track known objects, but they do not always provide the precision or immediacy required for densely populated orbital regions. Without direct operator-to-operator -operator communication, satellites can unknowingly drift into risky configurations. This is why SpaceX emphasized coordination rather than blaming a single launch. The issue is systemic. 
As more satellites enter orbit, especially in popular altitude ranges like 500 to 600 kilometers, the probability of close approaches increases sharply. Each near miss raises the stakes, because even one collision could produce debris that threatens other spacecraft in nearby orbits. The 200-meter near pass wasn't just close. It was a signal that existing coordination practices are struggling to keep pace with the speed and scale of modern space activity. This incident comes at a time when Earth's orbital environment is changing faster than regulations can adapt. In 2020, fewer than 3,400 active satellites were circling the planet. Today, that number has grown to roughly 13,000, with thousands more planned. Large constellations, scientific missions, and national programs are all competing for limited orbital space. Starlink scale makes it both a contributor to congestion and a frontline manager of it. Operating thousands of satellites means constantly predicting and responding to conjunction risks. At the same time, Starlink's density makes coordination with other operators unavoidable. Even a single uncoordinated satellite can create challenges for an entire orbital shell. China's space activity has expanded rapidly as well, including commercial launch providers like CAS Space. The Kinetica, one rocket is designed for responsive, flexible launches, which adds value but also increases the pace at which new satellites enter orbit. Faster deployment cycles place greater pressure on coordination systems that were designed for a slower era. International rules for space traffic management remain fragmented. There is no single global authority enforcing real-time data, sharing, or standardized avoidance protocols. Most coordination today is voluntary, relying on goodwill, transparency, and bilateral communication. The risk is not limited to large operators. Smaller satellites, university missions, and emerging space nations depend on a stable orbital environment. A collision anywhere in a busy altitude band can generate debris that spreads far beyond the original point of impact. The widely discussed Kessler syndrome describes a scenario where cascading debris makes certain orbits increasingly difficult to use. While that remains a worst-case outcome, incidents like this near-miss show how incremental risks accumulate. What happened between the Chinese satellite and Starlink? 6079 is part of a broader transition. Space is no longer an empty frontier. It is an active, shared infrastructure where coordination is becoming just as essential as launch capability. This event ended without damage, but it delivered a clear message. As satellite numbers grow, close calls will become more frequent unless coordination improves. Technology alone cannot solve this challenge. Transparency, shared data, and common standards are now essential for keeping Earth's orbit usable. The near-miss between a Chinese satellite and Starlink was not a failure, but it was a warning. How operators respond next will shape whether space remains a reliable environment, or an increasingly unpredictable one for everyone who depends on it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.